But with the holiday season upon us, several local police departments want you to be careful on the roads. So they're using food to send you a warning. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin joins us now in studio to explain. Eric. Mike and Caroline, when it comes to deadly crashes involving a driver under the influence, Rhode Island is above the national average. And just six days away from Thanksgiving, police know grocery stores will be busy. So they're spreading the word about sober driving on the food you'll be picking up. Turkeys at some Dave's marketplaces now have more than just the label on them. They have these two turkey shaped stickers with the message stay alive, carve out DUI on them. They're completely preventable accidents. Lieutenant Matthew Kite with the Cranston Police, along with the Warwick and North Kingstown Police Departments, worked at getting the stickers on turkeys and other Thanksgiving foods ahead of the holiday. The goal? After seeing the stickers, family and friends will talk with one another about getting a sober driver on top of always hearing the message from police. It's different when it comes from a friend or a family member. Um, that there's a, a different aspect that's being reached. Between cabs, rideshare services, and sober drivers, Lieutenant Kite says there's no reason to drive drunk. If somebody's impaired, get them a ride. Um, make other arrangements, get a designated driver, uh, plan ahead. According to data from police, in 2017, two people died in crashes during the holiday travel season, a season that's supposed to be everything but tragic. They also say 41% of deadly crashes in the ocean state involve an impaired driver. That's 12 ticks above the national average of 29%. So obviously Rhode Island's going in the wrong direction. And if you're looking for a free ride Thanksgiving Eve, we've got info about a couple programs on our website, WPRI.com. Mothers Against Drunk Driving is teaming up with Uber, and the Warwick Police Department will be running its Safe Rides program. In studio, I'm Eric Alperin, Eyewitness News.